Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So, in my last video I talked about the One-Eyed Mask, the new Exotic Titan helmet, combined with the Arsenic Bite, one of the new burrs introduced with Forsaken, and why they make such a good combo, and why it's sort of one of my new favourite loadouts in the Crucible right now. Well, I've been using burrs quite a lot recently, and I like to think that I'm quite decent with them, so I kind of wanted to make a video, sort of a follow-up to my last video, giving some more tips on how to use burrs effectively, and just give some pointers for players trying to learn how to use burrs. In case you haven't seen my previous video and want to see a little review of the One-Eyed Mask, I'll leave a link to that in the description. So, getting into this, firstly, it's good to know what burrs are useful for. They're really good for high single shot damage, as well as long range, so kind of like a sniper rifle really, but they don't require the same level of accuracy as a sniper rifle. They can also be used for short range, although that can be a little bit more challenging. Due to the high single shot damage potential, they are really good for getting sort of that first shot on an enemy when you enter a gunfight, or I guess a burr fight, whatever you want to call it in this case because with a fully drawn arrow to the head, you can take down their shields and then immediately switch to, say, like a hand cannon or something to clean them up. It's also really good just for helping out teammates, cleaning up kills, getting assists, etc, etc. They're also really good in the fact that you can pre-draw an arrow and get your first shots, or I guess arrow off in this case, before your enemy does and do a significant amount of damage to them. So, now that we know that, here are the tips that I used to become more effective with burrs in the Crucible. I will say now that some of these tips may probably seem a little bit obvious to some people, but this is just sort of an all-round guide and sort of an overview and just the way I learned to use burrs that I want to pass on to you guys. So firstly, one of the big things for burrs that I previously mentioned is the ability to pre-draw arrows. This I think is one of the biggest things that gives you an advantage over most players in the Crucible. Sure, you can pre-fire with a gun, but pre-drawing allows you to have that arrow ready to immediately fire and do a ton of damage as soon as an enemy comes around the corner. If you can learn to combine this with the ability to predict an enemy's movement and predict when they're about to come around the corner, then you'll have already mastered one of the biggest things about burrs. If you have the arrow ready as soon as somebody is about to come around the corner, you can do a ton of damage to them right off the bat right as you start the gunfight. And so that will immediately put you at an advantage there are a lot of times where I'll put an arrow into someone's head before they can even do any damage to me and they'll just immediately back off. And when they do that, if it's purely just a 1v1 engagement, there's no other opponents around, then that is my time to push in and finish them off. Like I said, I know some of these might seem a little bit obvious, but I'll sometimes see players that will begin to draw their arrow after they've already engaged with an enemy and after they've already received damage. Just make sure you don't actually hold the arrow for too long because eventually the game will automatically fire the arrow and release the trigger, although you can just cancel it by pressing square or X on the controller. In this sort of situation, your only real downfall is if you do end up missing your arrow and your enemy then just guns you down. So like I said, try and predict where the enemy is going to be, try and predict where their head is going to be for maximum damage. And failing that, make sure you have a backup plan, make sure you have cover that you can just pop in and out of. Something that I learned to do is actually crouch strafe whilst popping in and out of cover. This essentially allows you to take quick shots at your enemy trying to get damage in whilst also minimising the amount of time that you're out of cover. Now, I mean, this could just be a tip that could apply to any weapon really, being able to strafe and then crouch strafe in and out of cover. But with burrs, that is really effective and just with the nature of them, it really does help to be able to learn how to do this. Because, as I say, with a fully drawn arrow, you can do a lot of damage to a single target. Now, if you're playing as a Titan, predicting enemy movement is made a lot easier if you have the exotic helmet, the one-eyed mask, which is why I made my previous video talking about that combo, because those two just really work well together, and if you're going to use a bow as a Titan, it's definitely worth using. But the reason I'm making this follow-up video is not just as just general tips, but also because I know not every class has the ability to track enemies behind walls. It's probably my favourite exotic armour piece for the Titan right now. My next tip is kind of a two-parter, know when to engage. As I say, some of these sound kind of silly, but it's just something to be aware of. So let's say your enemy has advantage point, let's say you don't have a clear line of sight, let's say you've already taken a little bit of damage, anything like that, it's worth just backing off and letting maybe your teammates do the work, 
or maybe just run into a better position where you know you've got some distance between you and the enemy and you have the range advantage with your burr. However, if you've gone confident with your burr, then this is kind of the second part to this, know when to be aggressive. Let's say you've already managed to pop one shot into an enemy and they've taken a significant amount of damage, then it's worth pushing on them to finish them off, even if it just means hip firing with the burr, chances are, if you've already done significant damage to them, another arrow will finish them off. Although, if you're going to be aggressive with a burr, you'll probably want to take some practice first and just, if you're just starting out, just hang back with your teammates and just put shots into enemies from a distance and just be there as kind of support until you've got the hang of things, until you've got the aim down and you've got the draw and the range and you've got all that down. Once you kind of understand how the burr works and how it performs, then you can kind of start going in for those up close and more 1v1 engagements. The thing is, when you're using a bow in the crucible, and when an enemy notices that you're using a bow, they'll tend to become more confident in themselves, at least that I've found, and they'll then kind of try to be a bit more aggressive towards you because they think that you won't be able to kill them. They think, oh, he's using a bow, I can easily, this is just a free kill for me. And so it's always surprising to the enemy when you manage to turn on them and just finish them off with two quick arrows to the head. I think that's kind of one of the most satisfying things about the burr to me in the crucible just because of the skill required to be able to confidently take on 1v1 engagements and win them. Next up you'll want to learn how to be snappy and flick your aim. So basically kind of what this comes down to is your reaction times, you'll want to be able to snap your crosshair onto an enemy's head as soon as they enter your screen because with burrs you don't really have much time to get that hour off, you don't have much time before the enemy starts shooting you, so you need to be in that engagement as soon as you can and trying to kill that enemy. You don't really have much room for error, you don't want to be missing your arrows, and so if you can learn to turn your sensitivity up on your aim, even just at 5 or 6 you'll be fine and just get your arrows off, then you'll do great. Me personally, I usually play on a 5 or 6 sensitivity, so not really that high, it's about halfway but I use a control freak on my thumbstick, which gives me more precision when aiming, so it doesn't actually feel as if my sensitivity is that high. So essentially, I'm gaining the benefits of a high sensitivity, but it doesn't feel like my aim is just zipping all over the screen. It's giving me a lot better control over where I'm looking. So finally, just to summarize all the main points in this video, learn how to pre-draw and learn how to predict movements. Those two are sort of the main key things for this, I think know when to be aggressive, know when to engage, and know when to hang back, learn how to quickly pop in and out of cover whilst crouch strafing and putting those shots into enemies, and teach yourself how to snap your aim onto an enemy's head. So guys, those are the sort of main tips and guidelines that I have to offer. This is sort of the way that I taught myself how to use bows in the Crucible, and I hope this is able to help you out somewhat as well. Now, the bow that I'm using in this video is the Arsenic Bite. I believe this is considered to be one of the better bows in the Crucible, at least the better legendary ones. This one comes with Archer's Temper and Rampage. Archer's Temper is one of the sort of perks that you want to be looking for on any Crucible bow, as well as Rampage and anything that improves your accuracy, basically. Anything with an accuracy master work, stuff like that. As for Explosive Head, uh, yes please. Unfortunately, I haven't yet used the Trinity Ghoul. I haven't received that exotic yet. I'm kind of at the point where I don't even believe exotics exist, to be honest. And the Wish Ender, well, nobody has actually found that burr yet. Nobody has actually managed to unlock that, so that's still kind of a secret for now. Aside from the perks on the Arsenic Bite, the main reason I also prefer this one over other burrs is because of the sights. The sights on this one actually highlights enemies, so it kind of gives you a clearer view of where an enemy is, even if you're trying to look at them through smoke or something. So that's one of the biggest things about this burr to me as well. Anyway guys, I do hope that this video helps you out at least somewhat. As always, I do hope that you enjoyed the video as well. Thank you all very much for watching. Any feedback in the comments is greatly appreciated. And I'll talk to you next time. Be captured. You have zone advantage.
Zone A captured. You have advantage. Your legend, Rogue. You're pulling ahead. Keep it that way. Double down. Can't kill if they're dead. <laughs> Zone A captured. You have advantage. Them come. This is their fate. You're getting stronger as you fight. I love it. Zone A lock. See captured. You have zone advantage. Fought like a titan of the first pillar. I've seen enough. I'm calling this one. Two for one. Zone advantage is yours. down. Double down. Double down. I've seen enough. I'm calling you. 